Hey guys, so if you watched my anxiety video, you may know that I'm starting to say yes to more things. And if you didn't watch my anxiety video, then you did not know that. But basically, I'm starting to kind of just take a new outlook on life. And obviously, I'm not going to say yes to things that are illegal or life-threatening. Like, if someone were to be like, Danny, go jump off a cliff, I'm not going to be like, oh, let's go jump off cliffs because, honestly, like... I'm not planning on dying. So for this summer, I just kind of made a summer 2013 bucket list to kind of inspire me to start just going out and living life. And this isn't like stuff that's like crazy intense, like skydiving or whatever, but I am just going to start going out more and having fun and doing fun things this summer. So I made a list of 50 things that I'm planning on trying to accomplish this summer and if I don't accomplish it then you will find out if I don't because I'm going to do a video like at the end of summer kind of just going over what I did accomplish and what I didn't accomplish. So I guess with all that said I will just get started with what I want to do this summer. Yeah! Number one is obviously get really freaking tan. Number two is s'mores and bonfires. I've always wanted to do a bonfire on the beach, roasting like marshmallows on those stick things. Number three is go to a concert, which basically that was referring to the concert that I was supposed to be going to this like this coming weekend. But turns out I'm not old enough yet because my birthday is July 27th when I turn 18, not June 27th. So I was like really pissed. Number four is get my tragus pierced. Number five is, get ready for this, this is my favorite one, Red Bull floats because I don't like root beer and I've I just always wanted to try a Red Bull flow ever since I became addicted to this Red Bull. And if you're wondering why I'm so hyper in this video, it's because I just drank this Red Bull. So, Red Bull floats. So number six and seven actually kind of go together because it's kind of like in the same place. Number six and seven is Disneyland and churros. Because you guys know, I cannot go to Disneyland without my churro. So this next one is probably one of my favorites also, and it is photobomb someone's picture. I just love photobombing pictures. I just love like when people are taking pictures, just kind of making a funny face in the background. So look out for me at VidCon. If you're taking a picture, I might end up being in the back of your picture, trying to ruin your picture. Hmm. So I'm really sorry in advance. So number nine is stargazing. Number 10 is meet new friends. I am so excited to just meet tons of new people this summer. And just even if that means going up to the beach and then like going up to people and just be like, hey, I'm Danny, nice to meet you. We're friends now. Number 11 is in and out I'm so excited to eat in and out You guys have no idea. I'm so excited. To eat. Number 12, or I don't even know what number this is anymore, so I don't even care. But the next one is beach days. Hopefully I'll be going to the beach a lot. I'm definitely planning on going to the U.S. Open because I had such a fun time last year. And hopefully I'll have a fun time this year at the U.S. Open. The next one is overcome a fear, which is one that really does tie together with my anxiety. So overcome a fear. Take a picture with a stranger, which will be really fun. Even though my parents always told me not to talk to strangers, but you know what? Shh. My next one is meet cute boys because... Obviously, girls want to meet cute boys during the summer, unless you have a boyfriend, but I don't have a boyfriend, so cute boys during the summer. Run in the sprinklers, because that just sounds so much fun. Let's make pina coladas. Longboard on my Santa Cruz longboard. Yeah. Work out, because I'm going to be eating a ton of junk food over the summer, like in and out in my churros and my Red Bull floats, so... I still gotta work out. This next one's actually super cool. I got this idea from actually looking up other people's bucket lists and they had said to get a like a balloon and then post a note on it and like set it free. And I thought that that would be so much fun to do. Make friendship bracelets. I want to watch the sunset slash sunrise. So basically stay up like I normally do. I actually haven't even slept yet and it's 11 a.m. and I haven't gone to sleep yet at all so I've been up for like 24 hours or more already but I do want to watch the sunset and sunrise 
in the same night and morning, if that makes sense. I want to say hi to random people on the street just to make their day, just be like, hey, what's up? I'm weird. But yeah, I want to drink tons of Slurpees because who doesn't like Slurpees? Actually, it depends on the flavor because sometimes Slurpees can be really disgusting, especially when they start to melt. Stay awake for 48 hours, even though I've pretty much already done that every single day of my life, but I just added it because it seemed fun. Dance in the rain because in Washington that will not be hard to do at all. It'll be quite easy. Do something I'd never do before, which I have no idea what that is, but I guess we'll find out this summer. Have an awesome party with my friends. I want to pick a summer song and then learn all the lyrics. So make sure to comment down below some of your guys' favorite summer songs so I can just learn all the lyrics to them. Pool party till the AM because that's always fun to do. Just like party all night, like with your friends, and then jump into the pool at like 3 a.m. and then stay in the pool slash hot tub till the sun comes up and then go eat breakfast because that's fun to do. So I want to do that again this summer. Even if it means by myself. Because I don't really care. I'm just trying to get out and live my summer and have a fun time and not be bored like I've said during this whole entire video. Get highlights. Play with sparklers because that's always fun to do on 4th of July. So hopefully I have plans this 4th of July so I can play with some sparklers. Have an 18th birthday party. Gotta celebrate because I'm gonna be an adult for the first time ever. So I don't think I could think of anything. So I just kind of put down twerk, twerk, twerk. So yeah, if you watch my Vine, I've already done that. I've twerked a lot this summer already. And we just gotta keep twerking. Late night drives, blasting music. Bake cookies with friends. Red Bull Pong. Dance around random people. Have a squirt gun fight. Go boating. Dress up fancy and go out. Take a thousand pictures. Meet a celebrity with Paige. If you guys don't know who Paige is, she's like one of my BFFs. And she has a channel. I'll have her channels linked down below. But she always meets celebrities. So I put it on my bucket list that we will meet a celebrity this summer because she always meets celebrities. I don't know how she does it. My next one is just smile, so... Oh yeah, so this next one is just enjoy summer because I really just want to make the best out of this summer and just have a lot of fun. Visit a new city. And then last but not least is make a summer photo album of all the memories that I make. So I'm really excited to try to complete this whole summer bucket list. And I might do vlogs or a video at the end just kind of explaining everything that I accomplished. Maybe that will be all in one video because a lot of these things are really like small. So basically maybe I'll just like do a video of me completing some of these things and kind of showing you maybe again like I said this will be all in one video so yeah make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I love you all and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DNA official with two L's to keep updated with me if I ever go to like out of town for some reason and I don't tell you guys then you will know I guess that is it for this video I will talk to you guys next time bye